Okay, so the next one may come super surprising to you. And one thing I never buy as a petite is petite tops. And let me tell you why. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 clothing items that I avoid being a petite frame. I thought this would be a fun video to create. The couple petite videos I posted here on this channel are pretty popular compared to my other videos. So I thought this would be a fun one to create. So maybe you guys can get any ideas on um, what clothing is best to avoid for petite frames and things like that but I do want to make a quick disclaimer and that is um, I'm not saying that any of these clothing items are ugly or you know I don't like them at all a lot of the clothing items I'm going to mention that I don't wear I actually genuinely love but I can't really pull them off just because of my frame so I just wanted to quickly put that out there if you do love wearing any of these items that's okay you do you do what makes you happy so if you're a petite girl hopefully you find this video helpful on things to avoid I have a couple other petite videos I made on petite style tips I'll link those videos down below without further ado let's just go ahead and get into the video. first one I just want to quickly go over is I definitely avoid big loud patterns and the interesting thing is is I used to wear uh, like really large bold patterns. as I got older and kind of my style changed I noticed that when I look back at pictures of me wearing bold patterns it didn't really flatter my petite frame as well as uh, small dainty prints so when it comes to choosing fun prints and patterns I always look for small dainty versions versus like the really big loud patterns um, I do think that some retailers make really pretty clothing items in large bold the prints although I can't really wear them or pull them off I just don't think it flatters my shape very well so that is one item that I definitely avoid so if I stick to prints it's always small dainty ones. Second one is something I mentioned before and it is chunky sweater so I definitely avoid this just because it just really overwhelms the petite frame and if you are into like chunky sweaters and knits uh, my recommendation is, is if you are going to wear like a chunky sweater make sure you wear like slim skinny jeans and no bulky shoes or anything like that just make sure there's balance but just in general I don't actually go for chunky sweaters specifically for my frame and my upper body side up here it's a little bit heavier than at the bottom so it just brings a lot of volume at the top part of me which I don't really need that's why I always stick to like more slim fitted sweaters versus the chunky knits I absolutely love chunky sweaters and I think they're so comfortable so cute and cozy but I definitely can't pull them off for my petite Number one I haven't mentioned this before and it is boot cut jeans and this is specifically a style that I personally don't like I did used to wear them I wish I had some photos to show you guys because I kind of looked ridiculous wearing these jeans. I don't really think this is very flattering on a short frame. Again, it brings a lot of volume, especially like to the bottom portion. It really cuts off your ankle. And if you see my previous uh, petite style tips videos, I always talk about showing a little bit of your ankle when you're wearing jeans. So having jeans go above an inch at your ankle, that looks really flattering on petite frames. So with bootcut jeans, they just completely cover that area and just add so much volume there. But again, bootcut jeans is something I always avoid. I think I went through like a small phase when I wore them and yeah I don't think that phase is ever gonna come back okay, so the fourth one is I'm gonna give credit to my husband who mentioned this uh, I wore this specific style all the time when we were dating and it is peplum tops now I absolutely think peplum tops are adorable retailers make some really cute versions of them a lot of girls pull them off so beautifully it looks amazing on them but peplum tops are really hard to find the right fit for each woman's body type because peplum tops like they don't always hit at the woman's smallest point at the waist sometimes it's a little bit too high sometimes it's a little bit too low so it's like it has to be like really perfect where the where it cinches in at the waist for it to fit a figure properly i've went through so many peplum tops i bought so many i gave away so many because they just don't flatter my body shape especially with my top part being a little bit heavier than my bottom it just it just looks off but it just does not look flattering on my specific frame i do think on a lot of petite figures who have like a normal chest size and i think those look really flattering on them but for me specifically i always avoid it which is kind of sad because i love how they look fifth one is chunky necklaces now i actually do like some chunky necklaces not all i'm very picky about jewelry and how they look but i definitely avoid chunky necklaces because again it adds a lot of volume to my frame when i really don't need it so when i stick to 
to jewelry, I stick to more dainty jewelry. So I'm wearing like these gold, gold hoops today. This is really as large as I would go for jewelry or as thick probably. Maybe I would go out and venture out in some bold statement earrings, but I can't really wear them that well for different reasons. I always try to stick to dainty jewelry versus very chunky just because again, it always, it adds a more volume than we really need. Okay, so the sixth one is the saddest one that I can't wear and it's midi skirts or midi dresses. And I absolutely love midi style skirts and dresses. I think a lot of retailers come with amazing, beautiful options, especially with like dainty floral prints. And that's just like speaks to me, but I really can't wear them because it makes me look shorter in a way. And I talked about this before in another video. It, you would think it would make your frame appear taller. No, it actually doesn't because it kind of cuts off at an awkward spot for a petite frame. And it's really hard for petite figures to pull off this style. But I did see petite girls wear this specific style beautifully. And I guess my biggest tip is if you are going to go for like a midi or a maxi style uh, dress or skirt, make sure there's like a side slit uh, in the skirt or dress. So it's something that breaks it off a little bit. And I think that would look really flattering on petites, but just in general, overall, I really just avoid it because it's so hard finding a style that works well for a petite frame. But in general, I think it's best to stick to mini skirts or dresses. I think that looks the best on petite frames. The seventh one may come very surprising and is I 100% avoid shopping the junior section. It probably would make sense for petite girls to shop the junior section because there's more options for us there, right? But the older you get, the more your body changes. So especially after uh, puberty, and especially after you have children. Like, my body isn't the same after having uh, my baby. And not that it's bad, I actually love how it looks more now than it did before, to be completely honest, I love it. But your body does change, your hips change. Usually in the junior section, they kind of, the way they make clothing, it makes it look young. It's what it's made for, for young girls. So something I definitely avoid because when we're short and petite, we already look like we're 12 just based on our height. To be completely honest, guys, you are more respected and taken more seriously when you appear older and you're much you know, mature and things like that. So dressing up really makes people respect you more and take you more seriously. Something I always consider when I look for an outfit or buy pieces, I always try to make myself look a little bit older. Um, not that it's like bad or anything at all, it's just you are more respected and taken more seriously. A lot of people are really surprised when they see me and then, you know, if my age ever comes up, they're like super shocked just because of how I make myself appear. So that's one of the reasons why I dress, you know, more in the classy and chic side because um, that is a little bit more of like a mature and older style. I personally really love the style. Also, let me know what you think about shopping the junior section as a petite. I'm genuinely curious what other people think. I know you could probably find some things that don't make you look really young, like basics and things like that, but uh, just let me know what you think. I'm really curious about that. Okay, so the next one may come super surprising to you. And one thing I never buy as a petite is petite tops. And let me tell you why. So the reason why is petite tops are actually too short on me, which is ironic, right? You know, me being short, you would think, you know, I would need to shop the petite section for tops that are the proper length. But honestly, they are actually too short for me. And not all petite figures are like this, you know, like mine, because I'm more like heavier at the top here it kind of like uses more of the fabric so it kind of brings the fabric up more so it starts to look kind of like that cropped style on me and especially if I bend down and things like that and especially being a mom I mean like I need tops that are a little bit longer so if I bend down or pick up my child I don't want to be constantly fixing my shirt and like pulling it down to make sure your stomach doesn't show that's something I always avoid as a petite is I totally avoid the petite section for tops I just shop for regular tops and if they're a little bit too long I just just tuck it in. I usually tuck in all my tops just because I like the style. Okay, so the next one also has to do with jeans and it is capri pants. Definitely avoid capri pants. I also avoid Bermuda style shorts and then I avoid capri pants, but I do wear skinny jeans or jeans that go an inch above the ankles. So I'm, if you guys haven't noticed by now, I'm super picky about where my jeans and pants hit. I definitely avoid capri pants just because I really don't think it's flattering on petites. It kind of stops at an awkward part of the 
leg. I think a lot of other figures could pull it off beautifully and it looks amazing. But specifically for petite frames and for me personally, I don't think it looks very flattering. Maybe some petite girls out there could pull it off, but specifically for my shape it just doesn't look the best on me definitely avoid this being a petite just because it just doesn't really flatter my shape very well the last one is any baggy clothes so anything that's just like way oversized pants tops whatever jackets i always avoid being a petite figure and i know this is like a super popular style right now and it's super trendy you have to be careful with trends because the one they always come and go and two they're not going to flatter every specific body type so you know, all the things that I mentioned, you know, do, they don't work for me, but some of them may work for you being a petite figure and some may, may not. So it really kind of comes down to trying it on, seeing how you feel in it, and then looking at the proportions and making sure it does flatter your frame. Baggy clothes, in my opinion, don't work well for petites, especially uh, jeans. I think those wide leg jeans, big baggy jeans, I don't think they're well made for petites at all because again it's so overwhelming it's so much volume that we really don't need on our thank frame. you guys so much for watching this video and i also want to quickly say a huge thank you to everyone who supports me on this channel and on instagram as well i get tons of dms about how they love watching my channel they love my page they get so much inspiration from it and honestly guys that makes me so happy that i can be a resource for you guys to learn and feel confident in yourself it really makes my day that you guys take the time to message me and say thank you and I just want to say thank you to you guys too for supporting me and being here. It means the world to me. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I make weekly videos on fashion and lifestyle. I post about one to two videos a week. Would love to have you back. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post there every day. I post lots of style inspiration, a lot of mom life, lifestyle things. So definitely follow me there if you want to see more content from me. Uh, but again, thank you so much for being here and for your support. Love having you guys here. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.